Las Vegas, he was doing an act there and he was visiting his parents and um, he wanted to take my son for How a week. How old your son? A year, um, 22 months. 22 months, okay. And he wanted to take him and I didn't want him to go. So it's not like I didn't want to be with him. No, just tell me what happened. Okay, so um, <laughs> I was with my boyfriend and we wanted to go eat the day he returned. And we wanted to go somewhere that was kind of far. And he was arguing with me saying he wanted me to hurry up and eat somewhere close and pick up my son right away. And, and it was on said, a telephone. No, this is in person. In person. And so me and my boyfriend left, went to eat. We called him on the phone and, and on the car phone. And I said, why are you so mad? He's like, forget it. Take, take a two hour lunch, take a four hour lunch. I don't care. So we did. <laughs> and then I showed up at about eight o'clock. You didn't realize this was sarcasm? Well, he, I had no idea he had a set. I thought he just didn't care. I thought he was trying to get my son off his hands. So. All right, so you went over there and to get your son? Right. And, and I was tired, so I fell asleep after I ate. Then I went to pick him up. No, no, just just get get to his house already. Would you All right. get there, please? And so I, I want to find out how you were injured. All right. I drove my boyfriend's car there. Um, picked I just up my want, son. You're already there. All what right. did you do? Did you ring the doorbell? Did you go see him? Well, how did you get I rang the doorbell. He Fine. went to pick the, he went to go get the car seat. I was waiting outside holding my son next to my boyfriend's car. He threw the car seat at me and said, fine, where's your boyfriend? And he threw it at me and... and did he hit and, you? Yeah, with the car seat. Where? On the legs and on the... One leg? leg? Both. Both legs? Right. Did, you, did you, front of your legs or the back of your legs? What? Um, kind of on my inner right leg and on my left thigh. What kind of injury did you suffer? Um, really ugly bruises. Ugly bruises. Right. Okay. Did she's you take a, she's pictures? A stripper. Wait a minute, sir. Did you take pictures of these ugly bruises? Um, they did at the. Um... Did you take pictures of the ugly bruises? I didn't. Did someone? Right. Where? At the detective's office. Do you have a copies of those pictures? No, but he told me to give this to you. No. Why don't you have pictures? Because those are the only pictures I have. Why didn't you bring those? Because I couldn't get them. They're at the city attorney's office. City attorney wouldn't give them to you? No. Why not? I talked to the detective and he said it would be impossible to get back by this time. Impossible to get back by this time? He said you can call him. Did you ever see a doctor? Yes. What? Yes. Do you have a doctor's report? No. Why not? Because it wasn't really for my legs. What did you see the doctor for? I was under a lot of stress, and my internals were hurting. <laughs> Your what? It felt like my it felt like my um it felt like my rib hurt because I was running away from him as fast as I could, and my ribs hurt, and I wanted to get them so you, checked. So you didn't you weren't treated for bruises no. on your legs? No. Did you use any treatment at home for your bruises? How makeup. You, makeup. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the bruises that you had? Um, it was about a dollar, uh, a silver dollar size on my left thigh and um, long ones on my inner thigh. Would makeup right cover leg. it up so that you could... Not really. It looked green. I used even, I used uh, theater makeup and it still didn't cover it up that well. How about long stockings? That well, I can't wear stockings. You can't? Why? Because yeah, I'm a stripper. You're a stripper. Mm -hmm. Topless dancer. But I show my legs. What, you're claiming you lost income as a result of this? Mm -hmm. Where were you to appear that you couldn't appear? I don't understand. Well, you say you, you, you lost income, so that right. means you, you couldn't well, strip. I, I want to know where you would have stripped for money had you been able to do so. No, it wasn't that. It's just that I, I work from tips. I, my income depends on tips and my wages. But you have to work someplace to get tips. Right. Where did you, where was it that you couldn't work because of this? Pardon? Do you have a letter from the manager saying you no, couldn't work? No, she didn't want to get involved because she's already having problems with the law. Did you throw the car seat at her? Well, it was an accident. I said, did you throw the car seat at her? 
I threw it at her feet, and she didn't make any noise. She just, uh, you know, if I would have really hurt her, she would have Why did you throw it made... at her feet? You angry at her? I was, yeah, she pulls up in her boy, her 19-year-old boyfriend's sports car, and she asks, you know, she asks, no apologies. She's six hours late. I had to cancel my spot at the improv, and this isn't the first time this has happened. And so I, you know, she's, like, telling me what to do, so I just became enraged, and I just threw it, like, down at her feet, and I guess it hit her in the shins, and it hit his uh, Lamborghini. And, um... So I, you know, you know, I didn't mean to hurt her. If I would have tried to hurt her, I would have thrown it at her head. You know, <laughs> you you were angry though. Yeah, because she wasn't apologetic at all after being six hours late, and I'd had and, the baby and, for nine and, days. And a little bit jealous. A little Snake. bit, yeah. Did she ever tell you that she was bruised? Well, at the time, she didn't make any noise at all. She just Did drove off. Did she ever tell you? Ever? At any time? Yeah, her boyfriend called later and left, like, 15 nasty messages saying that she had a quarter-sized bruise on her shin. Now she has, like, three bruises on her inner thighs, and I don't know where those came from. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me? I wasn't trying to hurt her. I mean, I hit, I hit her in the shins or something, but I wasn't. it was an accident. Did you realize that by throwing it, you might hit her? Yeah, but I, you know, I tried to angle it so it bounced first. You were calculating the throw? Well, yeah, it was kind of a... Trying to get know. the ball on the inside corner? Yeah, kind of, you know, it's hard to... It's hard to what? It's hard to judge where a car seat's gonna land. I guess it is. Okay, take a short recess. I'll come back and give you my decision. Having heard the testimony, how do you think Judge Wapner will decide this case? Will it be for the plaintiff or for the defendant? We'll be back in just a moment. Sensation. <clears throat> a battery is the willful and unlawful use of force or violence upon the person of another. And that's what the defendant did. He committed a battery upon the plaintiff. No question about it. Uh, I can understand perhaps your frustration. You're waiting six hours for her to come and pick up the child and uh, being in a divorce and you're also jealous and so forth, but I can't condone that kind of action. You just, uh, you've got to learn to control your temper, control yourself. Uh, you can't just go around throwing things at people. The question here, or two questions really arise, the extent and nature of the injuries and the, uh, and the damages. Uh, the injury seems to be minor. There was no doctor seen. Apparently, small bruise or small bruises. I don't have any pictures to look at. I called the officer that you told me to call. He's not available. His assistant really doesn't know anything about it, except that it's on file there. You made a complaint. Um, we don't have a witness who's testified as to the extent of your bruises, who may have seen them. Uh, we don't have anything from your employer as to the fact that you were not performing the way you, up to or up to your usual standard. So we have your testimony, but we have absolutely no corroboration. So the damages are very, very difficult to assess. But uh, you did suffer some injury, and I'm sure you may have lost some money. So I'm going to uh, give you a judgment for $750. So Judge Wapner does indeed fine for the plaintiff. The defendant, Mr. Sather, is just coming out of the courtroom how do you feel about what Judge Wapner had to say and about his decision? Well, I, you know, I decided to go with whatever uh, he said. Of course, I have to. I, you know, I think he's wrong, but uh, that's how it goes. You know? you know, we didn't hear a whole lot. It's fr from, from an outsider's point of view. It sounds like the one who's really suffering here is the baby. Yeah, that's the, that's the sad thing. You know, I just wanted uh, her to spend some time with her child. That's really what it's all about. And, because she didn't want to, that's what made me lose my temper. And what about you? How, how have you worked out the custody of the child? We have joint custody. And with, you take with care of the baby? watching him all the time. With you watching. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Officer Brell has some documents you must sign. Thank and he's you. waiting for you. The plaintiff is just coming out of the court. Are you pleased with the judge's verdict? Yes. I know you wanted more money, <laughs> but you understand okay. his dilemma. Yeah, as long as he didn't get away with... Um, a crime that he did. How long, how long have you, you two been separated, split up, um, divorced? Since April of last year. Let me ask you about the baby. How is the baby That's making out in this situation? Fine. He wants to get back together with me, but I don't think it's good. It's better that 
were separated than being together and fighting all the time because I don't like the way my baby was freaking out when he threw that car seat at me. So do you still see each other a lot? Me and my ex-husband? Ex I try to be friends with him, but he always interferes in my life and gets jealous. And where is the baby now? Who's, who He's cares for the baby? We have a live-in babysitter. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much and good luck. And that'll wrap it up for this case. The litigants for our next case are now on their way into the courtroom.